Hello, welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and I'm very excited to have all of you here in my channel. Today, I'm going to show you how you can make this beautiful poncho. Look at the colors and look at the design. This beautiful design was shared by one of you, the name of this beautiful lady, it's Angelica de las Rosas. Thank you for sharing this idea with me. I love it. At the instance I saw this picture, I said I have to do it, I have to make it for all my friends, it is so beautiful and you will surprise because this is a very easy uh, poncho to make. I will show you how we are going to make it. Thanks for sharing this idea with me first of all. Remember that if you have more ideas like this one that are easy, easy to follow and with a um, beautiful design, well, you can send me these ideas to tejiamigas at gmail.com and there I will be receiving all of this, okay? Well, if you are new in my video, well, first I will give you the material list and then I will give you the step by step and then we will see how it looks, okay? Well, let's don't lose more time and let's start to make this beautiful poncho. Okay, for this beautiful poncho, we are going to need 300 grams of angorita, two different colors of plain material and one mix uh, jar, okay? We are going to make this um, poncho with our crochet hook of number um, three or three and a half according how you crochet. Remember that if you want to use the same materials that I use in all my videos, here I will leave the information. We have different colors and all of them are beautiful. Remember that if you want to buy and use the same materials that I use in all my videos, you can visit my online store www.lauracepeda.es You are going to start with the color that you like. Remember that there are a lot of different colors that you may take a risk and maybe they would look beautiful. Maybe it's a weird combination, but at the end you will see that it looks beautiful. I will start with this color and I will start making the squares with this. Well, with the yarn that you choose, we are going to start with one thread making chains, five chains. At the end, slip one to close the circle, like this. We are going to take both threads. And now we are going to go up with three chains. And inside the ring, we are going to start making 16 double crochets of three crochets. We are going to count the chains that we made at the beginning as one. So here we have two. We are going to start making the third. Well, at the end of the row, I slip one to close and I go up with four chains. Then here in this same stitch, we are going to make a extended double crochet. Here in the next stitch, we are going to make a V like we made here. Two chains and again in the same stitch, an extended double crochet. So we are going to make a V and it in each stitch. So between B and B we are not going to make any chain but inside the Bs we are going to make two chains okay so at the end we will have 16 chains I mean 16 Bs okay here we have one two three well here at the end of the row we are going to slip one and then we are going to slip until the middle of the next B we are going to go up with three chains, your turn, and make a double extend a double crochet and leave the last stitch in hold. And again, one, two, and leave the last stitch and then bring them through together. Three chains, and then in the next V, we are going to make the same. We are going to create another petal, okay. So we are going to leave the last stitches in hold. When we have four, bring them through and again three chains. And we are going to repeat this the whole row. Well, at the end of the row, we are going to slip one 
to close. Then we are going to slip onto here like this. Press slowly and carefully. And then from here we are going to make five chains. And then we are going to insert here. And then again five chains and we are going to insert and we are going to form these little waves, like this, the whole row. At the end of the row, we are going to slip one to close and then we are going to slip onto the top of this wave, like this. Then five chains and we are going to repeat the row that we made, okay? Five chains, insert your hook here, and again, and like this, the whole row. Well, at the end of the row, again, we are going to slip one to close. Then we are going to slip until the top of this wave. And from here, we are going to make three chains. And we are going to make a double crochet of three crochets. Then two chains. And again, one double crochet of three crochets another one and like this we create this shell one two three four five chains and one double crochet of three crochets then five chains and one double crochet of three crochets in the next wave one two three four and five chains and again in the top one double crochet of three crochets five chains and here is where we are going to repeat this. So we create a shell, then one, two, three double crochets with five chains in between. So here one double crochet, another one, two chains and two double crochets together. So we are going to continue this sequence and we are going to finish this row and then in the next row we are going to change color. Well, at the end of this row, we are going to change color. I already make a knot, I'm going to use this color. So we are going to repeat this sequence. We are going to make three chains and we are, we are making this, we are going to hide these threads, okay? So three chains, then one extended double crochet, three crochets, two chains, and again two extended double crochets together like this. Then without making chain we are going to pass right to the next wave and we are going to make five double crochets. We will see if it looks good with five. If not, well we are just going to make four. But let's see. Three. I love this color. And four. Five, and I think that I'm going to make one more. Six. So, without making chain, we are going to make six, six, and six, and here we are going to repeat the shell. So, we are going to continue like this the whole row. Well, this is how it looks at the end of the row. I cut the thread, so I finish with this color, and then I'm going to make an exact square like this one. And then in the last row of the other square, we show you how we are going to join them. So we are going to stop until we lift two sides of the square without crochet, okay? So see you there. Well, so here I finish, here I have one square and here I have second one and I lift these two sides without crochet. Now I'm going to show you how we are going to join them. We are going to finish the row making just a half of the shell. So now make make one chain and here in the other corner of this square we are going to insert our hook and one chain and then we finish to make this corner so we finish to make the two double crochets of three crochets and then we continue uh, making the six extended double crochets here inside this wave one two, three, four, 
5 and 6. And then here where the other 6 finish, we are going to insert our hook like this. We are going to slip one and without making chain, we are going to go right away to make the next 6. And like this is how we are going to join and we are going to repeat the same until we finish to join one side of our uh, square, okay? So I will show you. Four, five, and six. Well, here is where we are going to insert. We are going to slip one and we are going to start right away making the other uh, six, okay? Then we are going to insert and we are going to join here and again here in the other corner to have something like this at the end. Well, it is important that we don't get confused and join here, just here, in the right in the corner, okay? Not in between here, okay? So then after this, we are going to continue the road to finish the square. We are going to continue making the, uh, well, we are going to finish here the, at this corner and then we are going to continue here. Then we are going to start the next square and we are going to make the same. So this square will be the peak of our triangle. So we are going to join one more here and then in the other side one here and one here. So remember to make the same squares and to leave two sides without crochet to join them. Okay? So let's continue. So we will have something like this, so I already get ahead. So I told you that we have this one and then we are going to join both in these sides and then one more here. So with this will be the shoulders. And I make the same in the back, okay? So at the end we made three for the forearm, three for the back and two squares for the shoulders. Well, so we will have to make eight squares at the end well, now to continue, we are going to continue with the same color with this sandish color. I love it. So we are going to continue with one thread and with our hook. So we are going to join this thread. Remember that in the below part of our triangle because uh, this is where we are going to continue making the body. Okay. So here you will make the knot. Remember that you can change colors too. If you want, it's up to you. And remember that this is the color at the end. We will make a little stitch here to reduce a little bit. Well, from here, while we are making this, we are going to try to hide the uh, threads that we have there. So we are in each stitch, we are going to make a half double crochet like this. Look, grab your turn. Insert your hook and a half double crochet. So we are going to repeat this all around the um, uh, poncho until we arrive here. So here we are going to make one, one, and here in the middle three, and then and then we are going to continue making one in all the stitches on here three and here. So let's continue making half double crochet. Here I make one here, one inside and one here. I stop here because you may be confused in this part. Well, we are going to continue what we were making before. So now we are going to change color. I'm going to use this baby pink and um, we are going to make one row of mesh stitch, okay? So we are going to go up with for chains, skip one and a half double crochet. Then one chain, skip one and a half double crochet. One chain, on the second, insert your hook and a half double crochet, and like this, all the row and see you here. Here in the corner, we are going to make a shell. So we are going to make in the same stitch three extended double crochets two, three, right in the middle, okay? Then two chains and then again three extended double crochets, 
in the same stitch two and three so then we are going to continue making mesh stitch okay and we are going to continue all around this poncho and we are going to repeat the same in the other corner of the back okay so let's continue with the same color with the mesh stitch okay bye <laughs> Well, at the end of the row, we are going to slip one to close. Then we are going to go up with three chains, one, two, and three, and we are going to make the extended double crochet, one inside, one over the last extended double crochet. I was thinking that it might be tight a little bit, so every three, uh, sequence we are going to make two inside okay to increase a little bit and not tie too much but just only in this row is where we are going to increase and extend the double crochets you will see probably you won't need it but if it's your case well you will need to increase to not tighten and not to reduce the shape of our punch okay so remember that every three match so here we have one two three so here in the fourth we are going to make two extended double crochets inside so let me come back so here i'm going to make another one inside and then the one that it's in the over the the last okay so then we are going to continue and then remember that we are going to make three uh, squares like that and then in the fourth we are going to increase only in the first row is where we are going to increase then we are going to repeat the mesh stitch row then the double crochet row then the mesh stitch row and like this we are going to continue so you can change color okay but well we will count this mesh um, row and this double crochet row as a sequence so we are going to make two sequence of this one with the same color with pink and then two sequence of with another color and like that it's how we are going to change but remember that it's up to you at the end i will show you my combination we hope you like it okay and also don't forget that here in the corner is where we are going to make our shell okay it's very important don't forget and always in the mesh stitch and in the double crochet row here we are going to make the shell okay let's continue well look at me and my combination at the end i finished making more rows and more sequins with the uh, sandish color because i finished the uh, baby pink so that's why i make more rows like with the sandish color but well i think it looks beautiful <laughs> well i think it's long enough and at the end I wanted to finish with the baby pink so I keep a little bit of material to make the last rows. Well now with this thread we are going to make the in chains 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. We are going to skip 5 spaces and here's where we are going to insert. So we are going to make these waves. Okay, let me check one and in the six. So in this sixth space is where we are going to insert our hook. So then chains and skip five and in the six is where we are going to insert. And like this, the whole row. Well, at the end of the row, we are going to slip. And then we are going to make three chains. And inside we are going to make Extend the double crochets of three crochets. So here we have four, five. So five chains one, two, three, four, five. Then we are going to count from here four, and here is where we are going to insert our hook and we are going to make a pop card. Okay, so in the same stitch is where we are going to make extend the double crochets. We have three, four. And five. 
leave this one hold it and take the first chain and the last and bring them through and like this is how we, we create this popcorn okay then we are going to come back we are going to single crochet and again we are going to finish making the five extended double crochet so here we have one two three four and five so single crochet in the next wave then grab your yarn and right away go to the next wave and repeat the same five extended double crochet then the popcorn and again the five extended double crochet well i like this the whole row okay so this is the sequence that we are going to follow in one wave we are going to make this then one we are going to make single crochet and like this the whole row and here in the corner we are going to try to fix and to leave the waves like this and with this will we finish this part so now let's continue with the color i will show you what we are going to make and well now with the same color we are going to uh, reduce a little bit the color okay so here i already made the knot so we are going to make a single crochet row okay if you want a little bit wide and off the shoulder well you can leave it like that but at least i suggest that you make a row of single crochet to give it a final touch okay so we are going to skip some spaces like this to reduce not too much please try on to see if you like it or not and to see if you are going to reduce too much or not okay well then over this row we are going to make this row i, I choose a simple stitch because i don't want to uh, you know to overload this thread okay so each five single crochets we are going to make a picket okay so we are going to make two chain we are going to come back and here in between we are going to okay very carefully bring them through and again five single crochet and then a picket and like this the whole route okay and well, if you feel that you need to reduce a little bit more, well, in this row, it's your opportunity to reduce even more. But before, I always suggest that you should try on and to see if you like it or not, okay? Remember that this is my combination and that you can mix many colors as you like, okay? Well, at the end, I think that I'm going to iron with plenty of steam and well, this will be finished. And now let's see how it looks well so what do you think i hope you like it i really enjoy making this project i love to combine different colors and i hope that you like it i hope that you like this combination that you remember that it's up to you and that you can create your own this is the magic of of crochet that you can make uh, your choices okay remember that this is also an idea this is the um a stitch that i choose but you can make a different stitches in between maybe but well remember that i will be in some parts of europe here i will leave the calendar well you can visit me in some parts my staff my laura cepeda team will be there but in the last two dates i will be there so i hope i can meet you all i will be very happy to see you there Remember that we are going to sell all the materials that I use in my videos, all the accessories, the magazines, and we have a lot of things. And of course, we will have the pleasure to crochet together, okay? Please don't forget to subscribe to my Spanish channel, to Laura Cepeda, and please visit all my social media. Don't forget to give me a like and to subscribe. Thank you so much and see you next Wednesday. Bye!